What's up Dream Chasers? What's up Ranch Gang? It's your boy Kevin Van Boris checking in for another video for you guys today. So I am in Las Vegas for the new car reveal on Monday, which is tomorrow. So I'm in Vegas. Today is Sunday. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome Sunday. Hopefully you had a safe St. Patrick's Day. You made it safe, had some good times. If you're on spring break, you're lucky because I don't even know what that means anymore. But I wanted to talk about basically the car that you guys are seeing right now. So in the intro of this video, I gotta give a shout out to my buddy V Venom. So VV Venom, two M's on instagram he sent me this video that was at the beginning of the video about this card you guys are seeing right here so he was told <clears throat> that the seventh car is sitting out in plain sight is this the car this has a demon 170 badge on the dash so is this the seventh vehicle so we've got Skinny's up front. We got some nice 15s in the back, what they look like. Direct connection all over it. It's got a cage, carbon fiber dash, suede steering wheel, parachute, Demon 170 on the dash. You guys can see that. So I'm gonna go through this again. So obviously this is a uh, red eye, the direct connection one. And the pictures that I sent you guys, you can find those in the direct connection catalog. But is this, car number seven maybe this isn't the car that they're released releasing but maybe this is one of their test mules but it literally says demon 170 on the dash the question is is this the car it's got a parachute it's got lightweight wheels it's got a cage it's got lightweight racing seats it's got carbon fiber dash suede steering wheel all that good stuff is this the car that we're all looking for is this it except not in any color. Like it just has all the direct connection decals on it. So you don't know what it is. Maybe that's it. I was kind of expecting a different hood and that's probably why they have just your normal red eye uh, super stock hood on it. But in my opinion, I think this is the car they're releasing. Now, as far as, is it gonna come directly from OEM with parachute and <clears throat> drag racing wheels and tires and the lighter weight seats and stuff for the front probably not um i'm assuming it's going to come in some type of crate like the demon um now a lot of people still think that it's going to be like an upgrade kit no i'm telling you this is a whole different vehicle dodge did not have 39 test mules just so they could do some upgrades for stage kits this is going to be a whole new engine um, upgraded transmission, the whole rear end is gonna be upgraded, axles, all that good stuff. So we're not talking about just a Demon with a stage three kit. This is gonna come with lighter weight wheels, lighter weight seats. I don't know if it's gonna come with a cage. It'd be pretty cool, it came from the factory with the cage or you, know, you have to do it obviously after you buy it, but with a parachute and all that, that's pretty wild to think about. Um, if this is the vehicle that is coming from Dodge, this is going to be an eight second car right here, guaranteed. If it has the A170 or the C170 engine with all these lightweight goodies, I think this is it. Um, the only thing that <clears throat> I asked Venom about is if he noticed any carbon fiber like doors or roof or anything. He said he couldn't see anything from looking and walking around it. So that is one thing that is kind of uh, being talked about is carbon fiber pieces on this to make it lighter. Um, I still, <clears throat> I think the car is going to be an eight second car. I don't know how Dodge is going to pull it off. I'm excited for the reveal tomorrow. Um, you guys let me know in the comments below kind of what you guys think. I know there's a lot of theories and all that good stuff about why demon owners are invited, but I'm telling you demon owners are invited and I even have different tickets and I'm going to show you guys that here now. All right. So as far as I know, I'm the only one who has a social media VIP pass and a Dodge Demon VIP owner's pass. So this is your VIP package, okay? You guys can read through this. It's free entry, free on-site parking, and then you get to go to the VIP hospitality area, okay? It's super nice. So um, that's obviously really cool that Dodge is doing that. Now, 
again, this is for social media people who got this invitation. The actual invitation from Dodge says VIP. That's it. Okay, there's all that's all it says on it. And then I got these two emails. So this is one of them basically saying what you guys are reading here. And I'm going to show you guys the next one. So Dodge is obviously hooking up all the VIP people. So here is the demon owner one. Free general mission, free on-site parking, get a fast pass to all the Dodge rides, you get a $25 gift card, and then obviously you get to go to the VIP area. And even on the rest of this email, there's two separate entrances. Dodge Demon owners are actually going to a separate entrance, and they get access immediately versus VIPs can go at 2 o'clock. So it's really interesting what Dodge is doing. I am standing behind my thought as far as demon owners are getting first dibs and again you have to be an original owner and you have to still own the vehicle and i think the reason they're doing that is because they want to not have people who are going to just flip this car and there probably will be a few but i think dodge is trying to do the right thing actually not even dodge i think tim kaniscus is trying to do the right thing as far as dodge is concerned with demon owners because he would piss everybody off if they didn't do it this way so in my head this is the car this is basically, I think, what we're going to be getting. Obviously, it'll be in different colors, and I think a few things will be different. Obviously, the badging and stuff. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is him. This is the car. This is it. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have an awesome day.